Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your full moon reading in Gemini and it's going to be a lunar eclipse. Make sure you check out the end of your reading as I'm going to give you specific information about the energies that we can experience, that we're going to experience during this time, okay? And a little bit more about the... Uh, the, the full moon that's coming in. Um, but as I always begin, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and support you continue to give to our channel. A little bit about this reading. You can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus signs. Keep in mind that these energies will flip-flop, okay? So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. You could also be picking up on, a, on an energy that is surrounding you. And I always want to say hello to our cross-watchers. Keep in mind we are slating this reading for the full moon, but this could have been something that happened three months ago. Could be something that's going on right now. Could be something that's going to be coming in in the near future, okay? Could have even be something that happened last year. So always keep that in mind. Um, you guys, this reading is a very mini reading. And I always say this because a lot of people get upset when they're not a full reading. I have plenty of full readings on my channel, okay? But for this one alone, this is only for you to be able to set your intentions. Setting your intentions during this time is so, so, so important because you can utilize that energy to really... Thrust yourself into the future. Thrust yourself into the goals and dreams that you have laid out for yourself. And so that's why we do this, okay? Um, for the full moon intentions, if you don't know how to do it, that link is below. So just click on the link and uh, there's a video showing you exactly what you need to do to set your intentions. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. You guys, please subscribe to the channel. It helps push our, my readings out so much further. And if you would, give a thumbs up to the reading. That helps a lot too. Can you do me that favor, please? Give a thumbs up. And um, don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button and right next to it is a little bell hit that bell and every time i release a reading you'll be notified and i'm going to i'm working on it right now but i think i'm going to do for the very first time 2021 readings oh my goodness i'm getting excited about that because i got new decks in and so i'm trying to gear that up okay don't forget we do private readings and now we are ready to get started on with your reading Hello, my Taurus. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. Remember, this is a mini reading, and you can look below to be able to get messages on how to set your intentions. Look at the video on how to set them, okay? Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as it relates to them setting their intentions on the full moon occurring on November 29th or 30th, 2020. What messages need? Oh, goodness. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Prayer of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on November 29th, 30th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Prayer of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on November 29th, 30th, 2020. What messages need to go for? Okay. okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go for for the sign of Taurus? As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on November 29th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Let's see it again. Let's see my attention. Okay. Okay, the Spirit, the Divine Creator of the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Taurus? As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on November 29th, 30th, 2020. All right. Okay, my Taurus, let me move these over here. Straighten these up a little bit. All right, first cards out. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Wow, that's crazy. 
I'm actually um, a Taurus, and I disconnected this week because I came off of social media for a minute to get my, my myself straight spiritually. And so this is just something to see this. And so you need to put things in place at this time, Taurus, to disconnect from the world. You know, maybe come out away from watching TV, um, you know, go to a, you know, spa a nature space where you can just take in nature for a minute. Uh, because we are earth sign and that kind of that kind of regenerates our spirit okay um, it gets us moving again because by us being earth uh, earth sign we need that okay we need flowers we need plants we need um you know watching water and all of that you know so if spirit is telling you to retreat we need to retreat and disconnect you're needing to trust the situation. This situation is calling for you to have faith. There's something that you're dealing with. There's a situation that you're in. The spirit is telling you to disconnect for a minute so you can get clarity of mind. Um, because there's a situation that you may feel like you possibly won't win or can't win. Or it's not going to turn out in your favor. And spirit is saying, trust. Just trust the process. Because everything is happening for your, for your good regardless. Okay? Sometimes we want things to turn out a certain way. And it's not meant to turn out that way. But it still all turns out for our highest good and that's what we have to have trust and faith in look at there you're needing positive energy surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity well that's what i was just saying and look at that so you have dolphins in the water we were just talking about that okay you're needing to really surround yourself by positive people a positive environment during this time because again whatever you're, you're thinking about or whatever you're going through you need that positive energy to kind of navigate you in the right space Make a commitment, okay? So you're possibly needing to make a commitment to do something. You possibly need to make a commitment to stick to what you said you're going to do or something you need to handle. Make a commitment and get it done. And that's why you need to disconnect from the world. This is why you need positive energy because you can't have any of that around you when you're trying to get something done, especially something as a serious, you need to make a commitment to do it, okay? This is your life purpose. Okay, so this is serious. Whatever you're being navigated, I feel like whatever you're being navigated to do, I feel like this is really changing some of your life, changing your life. Um, this is maybe something new that you're about to do, you're about to embark on, and you need time and you need space. I feel like for some of you, you need to set time away to plan, okay? You need to set, set yourself aside to do what you need to do to get things on paper, to really make this, you know, go to the next step or the next level. It could be a relationship, Okay? Um, could be both that we're dealing with here that there's something you need to do you need to just get yourself in order that's what i'm feeling that you just need to yeah so you're a spiritual teacher your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality you got two cards saying the same message about your life purpose this is serious whatever you're dealing with right now taurus this is this is really serious you could be dealing with a situation that you got to get in order but also spirit is telling you you're you're doing something that is is is, is helping you it's kind of changing. I really feel like with some of you, whatever this, this is major. It's, it's like this is changing how you had set out or your plans for, you had set out for your life to go. I feel like you're changing something else because you're bringing something in now that you've been wanting to do. And now Spirit is saying you need to clear the air. You need to make, you need to clear the energy so you can bring this whatever this thing is let look at there get more information i mean you can't oh my god i cannot make this up you gotta get you're getting yourself together right now you are getting yourself together that's what i'm gonna title this video all right you guys uh get yourself together this is time retreat get tell everybody to step, get away from you at this moment because you need to stay focused on what you need to do you need to make you need to make a commitment to do this all right all right my loves if you want to do a private reading information pertaining to that can be found below until next time bye bye hello you guys okay i am here to give you a little bit more information about this full moon this lunar eclipse that's going to be in eight degrees of gemini and considering where you are it's going to be coming in even in, um in the late evening hours of november 29th or november 30th okay so just considering where you are on the planet um but just a little bit about these these reading um this uh, eclipse um eclipse are one of the most important cosmic events that we can experience 
okay? They signal big endings and beginnings and usher in change. So keep that in mind that a huge change is going to happen during this time. Now, during eclipse season, and especially with an unprecedented um, seven in the past year, the motto is expect the unexpected. Oh my goodness. Expect the unexpe unexpected. Now the partial full moon eclipse in Gemini is the second to last eclipse before the end of 2020. And so this year we have had a total of seven eclipses. Okay, you guys, seven, which is very rare. Most years we've had anywhere from four to five maximum, but this year it's been seven. And um, this is a, uh, a, a penumbral eclipse, meaning that it only appears a little darker than usual as opposed to a full or total eclipse like the solar eclipse that we'll see on um, December 14th in the sign of Sagittarius. But the effect from the partial eclipse isn't as intense as the full one, though the impact is, is still going to be felt, especially for those who have personal planets in the signs of uh, Gemini or Sagittarius. Now, we may find ourselves feeling chaotic, um, irritable, tired, agitated, and sleepy around the eclipse time. And we can have a wild and extreme um, uh, time when we're dreaming as well. So keep that in mind. Your dreams can be very wild and very extreme. Alternatively, many of us love the fun and exciting eclipse energy and love riding the flow of new possibilities. And we are each so unique. So you know, you're going to feel it into uh, yourself. You're going to feel it deep within yourself, these um, changes and excitement. But traditionally, eclipses aren't the, uh, the best time to do the typical set intentions or release ceremonies to travel, make new commitments, you know, sign contracts or start brand new projects. This is the time for that. So when you're setting your intentions, don't do it the normal way. Really think big this time. Okay, and it's best to rest, uh, meditate, pray, and tap into your um, your energy around this eclipse time as well. Um, if possible, wait to sign contracts or make firm commitments until a few weeks pass um, past the uh, eclipse season. So always keep that in mind. Now, when new relationships, contracts, or projects begin during eclipse season, they are often they often carry the energy of the eclipse and can feel chaotic over the long term. So always keep that in mind. I know in ancient astrology, eclipses were very feared and people were warned not to venture out, get married, or do much around eclipse times. And it can feel like a deeply spiritual time when the veil is thin. Insights are strong and intuition is it should be heightened. But big life changes can occur this week, especially for those who have the eclipse occur near personal points in their natal chart, such as, you know, those with planets within five degrees of the eclipse point, which is eight degrees of um, Gemini and Gemini rise. If you have a Gemini rising sun or moon, you can feel this. Um, Sagittarius rising sun or moon, you're going to feel this. And Gemini or Sagittarius as your north or south node, you can really feel this during this time. Okay. All right, guys. So just keep in mind that you may feel, you know, very airy ever, you know, changing your minds this week. A lot could come about and you can feel mentally overloaded or mentally stimulated and spend a lot of time overthinking. So just keep that in mind. All right. All right, my, you guys, I hope that um, helped you a lot. And don't forget, set your intentions, okay? And think big. All right. Bye-bye. Until next time.